Well, this weekend was New York Comic Con, and we have massive updates for the upcoming season of Titans. Not only do we have new trailers and clips, but we have a first look at Beast Boy's new costume, some prop teases that indicate a prominent citizen of Metropolis might appear, release dates, and even some Season 5 talk. It's all here. Well, like we were saying, this past weekend was New York City Comic Con, and they gave us a deluge of new Titan information to break down. We're going to go through each point here one by one, and I thought we could kick off with the release date and schedule. Now, we absolutely know the first two episodes will premiere on HBO Max on November the 3rd, so that report of a November release date turns out to be true. This will be followed by episodes 3 through 6, one each week, taking us to the halfway point in the season, and then we're going to take a break with the remaining six running in 2023. Given the rumors we've heard about Doom Patrol, I think this is where Doom Patrol is going to pick up, and we're going to see the two shows cascade back and forth between each other. I am actually okay with them splitting the season in half, and this might give us the opportunity to focus on each storyline individually. I actually think this is a much better way to go about it, and it'll give some definition to each half of the season. Now, we also got a first look at Beast Boy, and I have to say, he looks great. We got looks at the costume in both the concept art phase, that's what you're seeing right now, as well as Ryan Potter suited up in the new costume. You've actually got this picture here, and if you've been paying attention or running a lot of pics from that event, you'll see him with the team right here on the back right. Also, we got another shot. It's this one right here, and I have to say this one might be my favorite. It gives us the best look at the costume, and most importantly, you can see the little green paw showing up on the shoulder. Now, the fact that Ryan has finally got a costume seems to indicate to me that Gar will finally get some respect this season. Fans have been clamoring for much more Beast Boy action over the last couple of years, and I have to say the effort to put him into such a great looking costume indicates to me this might finally be the time. I'm super hopeful we'll get many more animal forms this season, and this is the first indicator that very well might happen. Now, one of the other things we saw at Comic-Con was a lot of little set teases with props. They displayed several sets of props for this season, and they do look pretty cool. We actually had this first prop that gave us a look at something from Star Labs, indicating that Star Labs will be a big part of this season. And since we're going to Metropolis, that does make sense. You're seeing that right now. But more importantly, when it comes to Metropolis, we got this one. <laughs> yeah, those are Clark Kent's glasses. And the fact that we see Clark Kent's glasses might indicate we might actually meet Clark Kent this season. Seeing as Lex Luthor and Metropolis are going to be a big part of this year. We'll talk about that in a second. The idea that Superman, or at least his alter ego, might appear in this season seems highly probable and should be something that gets fans pretty excited. I've been pretty excited at the possibilities of Superman appearing in the show, and I think this will add a little bit of energy to this season. Now, a big part of the last season was the Red Hood, and the season clearly ended off with a little bit of question up in the air about where Jason goes next. Now, we didn't get a definitive answer to that, but we did get some more pictures of props for costumes. And when you look at those, you see a pretty familiar helmet. That's right, that is the Red Hood's mask. We actually have another shot of it right here, showing it clearly has been repaired or is a brand new version of the mask. We haven't got confirmation about the return of Jason Todd this season. We've always assumed he'll be part of the show, but there's never been anything official, and this does make me feel pretty good that the Red Hood will indeed return this season of Titans. Now, we also got multiple teaser trailers and clips for this upcoming year. Now, I'm going to be honest, the new team at Warner Brothers has been pretty tough on us YouTubers about using any of their content in our videos, and we've had to trim it up a lot. So I'm going to try to present this in a little bit of a different way, so you still get to see it, but I also don't run into the copyright gods. Now, the first clip we got was Nightwing vs. Some Ninjas, and this clip came out before the con completely, but it is pretty darn great. Now, it is a simple, short clip featuring Nightwing facing off with three ninjas while protecting Tim Drake. The clip gives us no indication on who these ninjas are or who they're working for, but let's be real, pretty much anything with ninjas is pretty cool, and Nightwing fighting ninjas is pretty much as cool as it gets. Now, the second clip we got, though, was one of the more interesting ones to me, and this featured both Superboy and Lex Luthor, but a whole lot more. Now, during this particular clip, we found out the team is indeed going to Metropolis. That was absolutely confirmed, and they have one awesome tricked-out RV to make the trip. I'm thinking this vehicle might be a big part of the season, and this is the first time we've gotten any looks at that. 
Now, the clip itself was also pretty short, and it saw Superboy taking a picture of Tim Drake, who interestingly got his trademark Robin staff in the scene. Now, during the scene, Lex Luthor reaches out to Superboy via some very familiar channels. Historically, Lex would transmit on channels only Superman can hear, and in this case, it was Superboy, with him ultimately inviting Joshua Orp and Superboy to hook up with Lex Luthor at Luthor Tower. Honestly, this was a pretty cool clip and probably the first interaction between Lex and Superboy ever in the series, so it might actually be historic. We're going to have to wait and see how great this version of Lex Luthor turns out to be. I've heard some mixed stuff so far, but I'm very optimistic. Now, the third clip we got was Mother Mayhem. And I have to say, Mother Mayhem is way more powerful than expected. Now, this clip sees the team once again on their new RV, and they stop and suit up once they spot Mother Mayhem. Quite honestly, she absolutely walks the dog on the team, dismissing Superboy, Raven, and Nightwing rather easily, and the clip ends with Starfire taking on Mother Mayhem directly and seeming to make some progress. Honestly, this clip should give us an idea of how powerful their foes in this season are ultimately going to be, and like I said, she pretty much had her way with the team up until the end of the clip, so it indicates to me Mother Mayhem, the Church of Blood, and more importantly, Brother Blood are going to be a force to be reckoned with this year. Now, they also gave us a full-on teaser trailer, and this was quite a tease of a teaser trailer, to be honest. The whole trailer featured quite a bit of the inside of the Church of Blood, along with a pool of blood and a hand rising out of the blood. I think this was supposed to be brother blood, at least that's what they're trying to lead us to, but it does give you some visual ideas of how awesome the Church of Blood might actually manifest this season, and I do think we're finally coming full circle with some of the dark magic storylines that we've had in recent years. How this ultimately impacts Raven and whether they'll bring Trigon back into this year, we're going to have to wait and see. But I am very hopeful and I do look forward to what they're bringing us here. And the final story to come out of con was a season 5 tease. Now, this is a video from an account over on Twitter, at DC Titans Tower. And it actually looks like a personal video, so I wanted to give the proper credit. Now, the clip features a showrunner, Greg Walker, and he's talking a little bit about the possibility of a fifth season. Let's go ahead and check it out. We really want one. We really feel like there's a lot of, there's a lot of, as they say, dry powder left for our characters. We really, I think we shoot out of this season with a lot of finality, but also a chance for a future. So I have to say Greg's statements on this are concerning, but also hopeful. He did make it pretty clear they shot the season with some finality, leading me to believe the word from up above is it could very well be the final season of Titans. With that said, he does make it pretty clear they want to do a fifth season, they are open to doing a fifth season, and if fans want it, we're going to be the ones to have to make it happen. This is probably going to be done by actually watching the show, posting about it on social media, and once again, like other shows, making it pretty clear to HBO Max and Warner Brothers Discovery that you want more. Overall, I think New York Comic Con this year was a big day for Titans, and they really gave us a lot of great stuff. Throughout the video, we've been running lots of other pictures that I've managed to dig up from the convention, and I have to say, everybody looks great, and it looks like we're due for a lot of fun. I have been wondering, though, what's up with Ryan Potter's hair. I'm not sure if he actually has his head shaved this season. I also noticed, along with Joshua Orpin, who's also sporting the short haircut, and is that part of the storyline, or are both of them working on another project, and that's why they look that way. We'll have to wait and see on that one, but I do find it pretty interesting and do kind of believe it's tied into the show. Obviously, we're covering everything Titans, so if you want your Titans Towers updates, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and ring the bell for all the news. But until we know more, what do you guys think? How excited are you for Season 4 of Titans? And which one of the three clips is your favorite? I have to say, I have to say, I like the clip on the RV with Superboy and Tim Drake's staff. Tell me what you think in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure you hit like, click subscribe, and if you don't ring that bell, you won't get any updates. Peace.